right, welcome back. We are going to have a good time right now. I am joined Hi. by Brainy Beth and Trixie, the baby yes. here. Uh, we are talking about a really fun event that is in store for the entire weekend at the Cross Insurance Center. So first of all, Brainy Beth, thank you for being here. Thank you for having us here. Absolutely. So tell us what families and just locals can look forward to throughout this weekend. So Jurassic Quest is the world's largest and most time expansive dinosaur exhibit. Wow. We have over 165 million years worth of prehistoric creatures all moving and roaring in their respective environments like oh. paleontologists we think would have imagined them. Oh my gosh. So they're all set up for you guys to check out. But in addition to that, we also have different experiences that mm -hmm. you can participate in as well. Okay. Such as training our Raptors, oh. Jojo and Diego. <laughs> Jojo and Diego. Yes. Okay. Um, All right. So we, we have a raptor training experience and also you get to meet and also have a photo op as well as pets. Yep. Even one of our adorable baby dinosaurs like Trixie here. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, I will say Trixie is winning me over. Trixie is a <laughs> cutie pie. That is so much fun. And that's a lot of time for people to go, th like go through when yes. it comes to this experience. So is there anything you would recommend for people with just to get the full experience of Jurassic Quest. So Jurassic Quest does have an ultimate package that okay. you can purchase as well. So Jurassic Quest, while we do feel like we have something for um, dino lovers of all ages, mm -hmm. we do mostly cater to an audience between the ages of two and 10 years of age. Okay. So if you have kiddos that are between two and 10, mm -hmm. Purchase the ultimate and you get to do cool things like bounce and bouncy castles. You okay. get to ride dinosaurs and so much more. That is awesome. <laughs> it looks like Tricky, Trixie was over here trying to bite on your shirt a little oh, bit. Oh, yes. Look like so, it might be snack time. Trixie, so, hold on. Hold on a second. She's the friendliest one that we have, but you know, really? you know, babies like to teeth. Of Sometimes course. Sometimes they like to nibble a little bit. I want bit. a snack it's too, okay. and I'm not a baby, so I, I completely get it. <laughs> and too. so this is a three-day event. <laughs> yes. um, you know, tell us why this is something that people should get out to, because, I mean, you know, maybe somebody may see it and say, oh, I don't know if that fits me. But you said that you're tailoring to literally anybody. So Jurassic Quest, again, it, it does, you know, most Mostly catered audiences of children between the ages of two to ten. Right. But whenever I say that there's something for everyone, Jurassic Quest prides itself on education, mm -hmm. particularly educating families and communities. So yeah. it's really an awesome experience um, for families. Yeah. Um, if you'd like to come with your with your kiddos, with your hatchlings, <laughs> you guys can all learn a little bit about dinosaurs, maybe that you didn't learn before, and yeah. that's what makes it extremely exciting. For instance, whenever we train our Utah Raptors, mm -hmm. we teach you a little bit about who you're training. Right. Yeah, we also sure. have a fossil table oh, cool. that has both cast fossils mm -hmm. and real fossils as well. So if you're looking for something that is, you know, going to blow your mind, come and see a 65 million year old fossil at our awesome. fossil table as well. I love that. So right there on your screen, you can see the times for the events going through, going on throughout the weekend, the location and the ticket price range. Um, and the, lastly, Brainy Beth, what would you say is your favorite part about the weekend? My favorite part, honestly, Sierra, is whenever families come through mm -hmm. the door and who doesn't love dinosaurs, right? <laughs> yeah. So whenever parents actually know a little bit less than their children, mm -hmm. whenever you see a two-year-old, you know, pronounce stegosaurus <laughs> and maybe the parents aren't quite sure what a Parasaurolophus is, yeah. but you know, their seven-year-old might know, right? Right. It's an incredible experience for kids to become the teachers mm -hmm. and also paleontology is a gateway science. It's what we like to call it. So if you can get interested in paleontology you can find you know information about things like oceanography yeah. biology and you know ancient civilizations much much more than that as well absolutely yeah. I know that's right spitting the fact <laughs> I love that well thank you so much Brady Beth for coming in and thank you Trixie <laughs> you are still, oh, she's like I need to go um, <laughs> we have all the information on our website and mobile app